What's up guys, here's Cloudy from Visual Moto WordPress Teams and in today's video you're gonna learn how to create a section like this one into your WordPress website. It's a option switcher button, okay, or a toggle container, okay. How to do this is what you're gonna learn in today's video, but before I can continue, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video and share this content with a friend of yours. You have no idea how much it helps us, because we bring daily videos about WordPress, SEO, plugins, optimizations, and many, many more topics in order to choose Internet on a site's favor. So, let's get this started. The very first thing is understand the why. This is a perfect solution for pricing pages that you need to show, uh, for example, a month subscription base or a yearly subscription base prices, okay? Or if you want to do a bundle or the standalone products license, just like we do on visualmoto.com. How to do this using WP Bakery? We're gonna move to our WordPress dashboard, review the left sidebar of menus, hover a mouse over WP Bakery, page builder and move to general settings okay make sure that you have your plugin working and updated basically it's all this okay after this go back to WordPress dashboard review the left sidebar of menus over mouse over page and click on add new page you're gonna create a new one but of course you can customize if your already made page okay now we're gonna click into this button right here WP Bakery Page Builder. Now we have two options front end editor or back end editor. I'm gonna start with the back end and move to front end later. Now we can use a blank page or a theme layout. Up to you, okay? I would recommend you start with a blank page and click on add element, okay? This plus button right here. Now move to the content tab into this window. And after this, move to this option right here, the toggle container. Basically, we have two options. Option one, monthly, option two, yearly, okay? We're gonna click into this big plus button to add a section. And this section can be, for example, a text block. Now, we can, for example, apply some features to this text block. All done. So, here is the features of one block. Let me fix it. And let me apply a new section and add a button to this option. I will not customize the button, but if you want how to if you want to know how to do this, we have a tutorial on our YouTube channel explaining how to customize buttons. Now we're gonna do the same for the other section. We're gonna click into this plus button, apply some content that we like. Remember, you can enter any kind of content that you want. I'm just using these options right here as examples, okay? Just like this. Now we're gonna click into this plus button and apply another button. Let me change the button color to make it easier to identify. And let me drag and drop it to the bottom of the page. Now let's preview the results we are getting. So basically, we have the monthly and the yearly. Maybe we can do it better by changing the layout style and applying some padding top and padding bottom. Let's try now. It starts to get better, but let's try to optimize. For the bottom, we're gonna now center the layout. For the yearly bottom as well. Let's 
let's center the bottom remember if you click into this edit icon right here into the toggle container this blue part we can customize the color of this feature the position of the bottom the animation and if you click into this option right here we can change the yearly text same for the monthly text let's preview we are starting to get closer I think we're gonna need some spacing into the two options click into the plus button the yellow one and search for space same right here looks good let's preview we are starting to get closer for what we want what else we can do right here for example we can apply columns raw two columns text goes goes right here other content goes right here for example images or icons anything that I want I'm gonna choose an image I think this one is good let's preview the results we're getting let me make this image bigger So here are the results we are getting. Now maybe a border around the section. Let's preview. looks like I forget to enter the size of the border and here we go we have our container of sections with the options features and that is I hope you guys enjoyed this video feel free to choose the comment section below in the case that you have any question don't forget to check out our borderless plugin to gain more widgets, elements, templates and tools to build up your site using Elementor, WP Bakery or Gutenberg or Enzo WordPress team in order to customize your site in the way that you want or growth.net platform that is a place where we can submit your blog for receiving and publishing guest posts or find blogs to get your posts published or sites.gallery that is a CSS gallery where you can promote your site, your page, your app and visualmoto.com in the case that you want to go premium while you're doing your site. Go to visualmoto.com, purchase the Visual Moto Pass and unlock full access to your entire templates library with hundreds of pre-built type sites that you can import with a single click. In addition for premium blocks, assets, tools, themes, plugins, templates and many many more features to create the site of our dreams. And that is. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I see you tomorrow. All the best.